Terra Luna Classic is getting wild, guys. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to tell you what's going on here because it really is getting absolutely bonkers. And, you know, I don't know what to say at this point other than I feel like we're probably on the cusp of something fantastic. Now, look, I know that we've said that many times before, and we're going to say it many times in the future. Are we going to be right every time? Probably not. But you know what we are going to be? We are going to be taking a shot <laughs> just to see what happens. And, and let me tell you something. There is a fantastic potential uh, breakout getting ready to happen here. And there's a lot of news to unpack. Now, before we get started, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. And uh, let's kick this off because it gets a little bit wild. Uh, and I'm going to start with a little bit of news. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, they're asking all the questions. And of course, these are the grossest of the gross people. Uh, and what they're asking is, who is Duquan, crypto CEO whose coin lost $40 billion in 2022 facing civil fraud trial? Cointelegraph. Terra was a house of cards. SEC, an opening statement for civil trial. Absolutely bonkers that the SEC and SEC is not one yet. So why would they... Why would you think they're going to win now? Uh, Doquan released. Uh, and then right here, uh, again, this is this whole house of card things. And this is the crypto fugitive U.S. prosecutors want to try for $40 billion collapse of uh, the, the Terra Luna ecosystem. Uh, uh, an ecosystem which, by the way, was in South Korea, which is why he's going back to South Korea, which is a testament to the problems that you have with the U.S. government and their manipulation. Also in the news, we have uh, the Luna Classic price can hit $1 after the latest Terra Luna Classic 2.4.2 upgrade. Now, the question would be, can it do that because of that? Well, the answer to that is, of course not. There's no, it is in, it is mathematically improbable or inconceivable at this point, inconceivable that you would see some sort of move like that because 2.4.2 does allow IBC hooks, which is going to enable dApps to be created uh, with enterprise dApps. There's some there's some great stuff that's in, in, involved in this, and uh, this actually improves the, the ecosystem tremendously. But is it enough? Does that do enough to make sure that we can get to uh, a penny or a dime or a dollar? Absolutely not. But financially, you have to consider uh, in order for it to be one dollar, when you have you know 5.8 trillion tokens, you have to hit a 5.8 trillion market cap. I'm not making it up. You have to hit a 5.8 trillion dollar market cap. So when you're looking at it, will it go to a dollar? The answer to the question is a very simple one right now. It's going to be no, but it's not going to be no at the end of this. So stick around and make sure that you keep track on the next part of this because now it's about to get fascinating because the discussions that you've been waiting for. They're here. All right, guys. So USTC repeg proposal contest. Here's what we have. Distinguished members of the Luna Classic community being one of the most sensitive and discussed topics in the Terra Classic environment and being the key to its success. I do believe that repegging USTC can bring the chain to its former glory. So my proposition is to organize a competition for developing teams to post their proposals and the one that is successful will be awarded with funds. The chance to work on the repeg in order to have a more simple approach suggests the following steps. Seeking governance approval to start the USTC repeg proposal proposals contest, create awareness so developer teams can create proposals which are to be posted on Commonwealth. The proposals are to be proven the functionality and have risk management mechanisms in place. Uh, number three, seek votes via governance to choose the winning proposal. And once the implement is completed, funds can be awarded in, in, in accordance with PPJ. So uh, the, the opportunity right now for you to be involved, if you choose to be, in deciding what happens going forward is here. You can get part of this, you know, come in here, start supporting this. You know, let's come up with some ideas. We need some repeg ideas. Now, what's going to happen? You remember, I told you this before. I'm going to tell you one more time. The validators that you support who do not vote for you that are attacking you every step of the way, they're going to continue to attack you. They're going to continue to fight with you. They don't trust you. They don't believe in you. They don't, they're not going to do anything. Uh, uh, they're going to find a way to screw you over. Okay. Remember that as long as you're staking with these people who are validators who are voting against your better interest, they're going to continue doing that. But if you decide that you don't want to do that anymore and you decide that you want to take advantage of this, then this USTC repeg, here's the opportunity right here. Uh, come up with some mechanism, come up with a proposal, come up with a way that this can be done that makes sense and make sure that you have the, the functionality and the risk management mechanisms in place so that it doesn't get manipulated. And then guess what? We've got it. It's here. So now let's talk about price action, stuff like that. 
All right, guys, we're looking at the one-hour chart right now, and you can see we had a nice big wicking off of the 100 MA, which is a big retest. Uh, we had this nice move up to 17 a few hours ago, uh, and then we had this dump all the way down to 15.8 in a massive sort of retest, and then all of a sudden uh, we got that nice little spike of reversal. Now you got this wick right here from the test on the 100. You like to see that. That does mean upside momentum is still in the cards. Now, when you kind of zoom out here, and if we turn off uh, high high IQ, by the way, if you haven't tried it out, you can try it down in the description down below. Um, uh, it, it shows you and gives you kind of you know what the market is doing and, and gives you what you need to know. Now, uh, zooming out here, I did tell you guys, I think that we're on our way up to this next level here on this test, and we have started to make that move. Now, that, may, that move is not straight line. It's going to be tests along the way, which is what we got. We got a retest right there, and we're having that break back above. So if we get a break back above, consider that we're probably going to run into some chop and resistance around 1,800 again. This little range right here is going to be a trade volume here that we're going to have to fight our way through, especially around that 17.7, 17.8 level uh, coming all the way up through looks something like this right here and you know right through this range right here going to be a lot of resistance along the way so if we can push through that very quickly then we'll be fine because that resistance actually comes all the way up to here the big level of resistance as you can see but this is an hourly time frame so it's not gigantic it's just there's a there's just a nice little chop right in this range if you zoom out by the way and you come over here you'll see a little bit more uh, in that range, which we'll get to on another show. But for right now, if we can get a, a little break into this, then we come up here and we do the test. I told you guys that that test is coming at that 24, 25 range. How far we go into it, it's going to be a predicator of how successful we are. And then, of course, if that happens and we get a successful test, then the next step on that would be uh, this kind of move here, a test, a back test, and then boom, and then a breakout into this 32 range, giving us a little bit of an upside momentum. Of course, that'll reject, come back down here. Boom, we're off to the races if this happens perfectly as a play out. That's the way that it would look. So if that happens, then we're in good shape. As far as price action, down 37% trade volume, down just a little bit in market cap for the day. Same thing over here, down 32% in, in volume, but only 1% in trade action. The move right now is back to Bitcoin. It's a lot of uh, a lot of move into Bitcoin at this point. Now, uh, Happy Caddy Crypto introduced me to Lunk Dash over here. So this is a, a dashboard for your Luna Classic. Gives you all the information that you need to know. You've got your total supply of each one of these. Then you've got your circulating supply. Remember, we still have that 800 million that we got to do something about here. Uh, but then you've got the, a number of delegations and the ratio of the delegation. Then you have the community pool, how much is available in that community pool right now. Uh, and then what the latest block minted was, and then the epics. So, um, and then you have the proposal, which is the repeal of Prop 12033. And by the way, when you look here, you can see who voted for it. This is the cool part right here. Um, the to to repeal all of this, uh, you see who wants to repeal and who does not want to repeal. Okay, you can make your you can make your validator distributions based on this. It's a fantastic way uh, in order to look at it. Now over here on the burn tracker, and you can look. By the way, it does everything that Station does um, for the most part. Uh, and then uh, the Lunk burn tracker. Now the Lunk burn tracker here, five hundred twenty-seven million burn over the last couple of days. It's not a lot. Not it's not a lot. But five days from now, five days from now, Binance is going to do that burn. When Binance does that burn. This thing goes up by billions and weeks is going to do that burn. Again, if you haven't signed up for weeks, make sure you sign up for weeks because it's in the description down below. And every time you, uh, every time you trade over there, they burn as well. So if we see weeks start to run up and we see Binance continue to run up, then you know we're looking at, at, at huge levels of burn. You want huge levels of burn, right? That's what we want. So you got to go down here in the description below and start trading on weeks because it's going to be fantastic. If you do it, if you don't do it, we're not going to burn much. Anyway, uh, that's my time, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. A um, dollar, I don't think dollar is realistic. But look, I, I already told you guys three cents is what I'm going to predict for this uh, for, for this next move. Uh, and that's going to be based on very limited movement, which, you know, when this USTC repeg proposal starts to really kind of take footing, then that could change dramatically. could change dramatically. But for right now, 2.8 cents is what my prediction is. So uh, let's see what happens there. Thank you so much for tuning in. And remember, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. 
Cryptonomy.finance just launched a research section, so make sure that you go check that out today. Learn a little bit more about crypto that you may not have known before. If you are a corporate client, you can have a relationship manager uh, and a lot of customer support, superior OTC services, and institutional tools that will help you in your venture. Also, if you sign up for the VIP course, you can get in touch with high-touch wealth management personnel and a lot of different people and personalized information as you need in order to successfully navigate this crypto. Also, if you look at my moves right now, you can see that I'm earning over 106 Solana on my last staking. My Tether, I'm going to earn 1670 on my staking so far. Uh, you can see there's some of these have, I've earned $784. I can't cash out for a while, but uh, I've earned 784 so far. And then in the launch pool, guys, if you haven't checked the launch pool out, you've got to check the launch pool. Look at these ROIs that I'm getting right now. It's fantastic. Uh, 20 X on K9 Finance, 7X on Weave, on Block Jerk. Uh, if you get, if you put a stake into this system right here, it gives you a fantastic amount of rewards. Go check this out today.